Can certain foods keep you younger? Well, we all know that exercise, overall nutrition, managing our stress levels, and yes, to some degree, our genetics play a role in all of that. Luckily for me, and even many others, I learned about the importance of what I was putting in my mouth and what it was doing to my body in my early 20s. And as I'm about to round that corner and turn 60, I can honestly say that what I've been putting in my mouth over the years has really made a big difference because foods can actually act as anti-aging medicine. I'm going to share how that all works with you in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been talking about skincare and wellness for well over 36 years, helping folks like you find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. And today, we're gonna take it a step beyond topical skincare and talk about the kind of food that we eat because it really does make a difference. Now, my background as a skincare expert in a holistic health coach have served me very, very well over the years. As I said, I'm a few weeks away from being 60 and my overall health is very, very good. Knock on wood. Not on any kind of medications, good blood pressure, good cholesterol levels. I'm very physically fit and my biological age typically runs 25 to 26 years younger than my chronological age. So yes, there really are two ages that can be applied to you. Again, your chronological age and what we like to call your real age. Now, today's video is going to be centered on my diet because it is something I get asked about all the time. And because a lot of things with me rest with the fact that I'm a very disciplined person that I am, I'm very consistent in the things that I apply to my health and wellness, I'm able to show by example with you guys how things really can be a benefit to you and your body and your skin. So diet, very, very important. Quickly, I learned about this in my early 20s because I had very severe acne, tried everything, and it wasn't until I went on a three-day fast and began to put food back in my diet, healthier food rather than candy bars, sodas, and fast food, what I was basically living on while I was in college. By making those simple changes, I saw not only a dramatic effect in the way my skin looked and behaved, the acne was gone and it never, ever came back. Also on mental clarity and how I felt. So as you can guess, I got really hooked on good nutrition and eating well. So let's talk about this. There are five foods, we're gonna keep it simple, that make it into my diet every single day. The first of which are cruciferous vegetables. Now cruciferous vegetables, I like to call them the stinky ones. That is broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and my all-time least favorite, kale. Although I've been able to incorporate kale into my diet for the very healthy benefits that you get from that. Not only do cruciferous vegetables provide an array of minerals that your body needs, like magnesium and folate, they also provide a huge amount of dietary fiber to help keep things moving along, which is very, very important in maintaining healthy organs, healthy weight, and healthy energy levels. Not only that, they contain compounds that help detoxify your body, so they actually help your liver work better. I eat one to two cups of these vegetables, either cooked, steamed, or raw in salads every single day. And because the second food that is in my diet every single day, olive oil, pairs so well with these in salads and in stir fries. Olive oil is such a great resource for the good fats that your body needs to help manage cholesterol levels. And those healthy fats contain many antioxidants to help with cardiovascular health, combating oxidative stress, and helping with neurological processes, in other words, keeping your mind and mental state clear. And on the days when, for whatever reason, I'm not able to use olive oil in cooking or in salads, I make sure that I take a tablespoon of it on its own with a dash of salt. Because if you're like me and you don't really like the taste of oil on its own, that little dash of salt makes all the difference. I'm also a nut for nuts. I love nuts, have since I was a little kid. My parents and godparents threw these huge parties with hors d'oeuvres, and they always had all these bowls of nuts and olives, and most of the people were eating the really fattening food. I was the little kid going around stealing the almonds, stealing the cashews, stealing the peanuts, and I love olives. Now nuts, in particular cashews and almonds, 
are extremely good for you. Again, full of minerals that your body needs. They've been shown in tons of medical studies to be heart healthy, to also help combat diabetes and actually extend your lifespan. Not to mention that they help you feel satisfied or full for longer. There just isn't a healthier snack besides a handful of cashews or almonds. And I always have almonds, a handful of those every single day. Next in my longevity diet, are berries, in particular blueberries, which lucky for me, have always been a favorite of mine. I've even grown those in the garden so I could have them fresh, but blueberries, packed with antioxidants and a natural source of vitamin K, and we know healthy levels of vitamin K are extremely important in helping synthesize vitamin D, helping to move calcium through your body and putting it where it belongs and keeping it out of where it doesn't belong, like your arteries and your brain tissue. Blueberries are just one of the most powerful potent antioxidant fruits that you can possibly eat. So blueberries, along with other fruits like cherries, blackberries, red raspberry berries, all help reduce oxidative stress and keep those antioxidant levels in your bloodstream high. And perhaps one of the most important things that these berries can do for your body is they help reduce overall inflammation. And we know inflammation is a precursor to disease and disorder with the organs, including your skin. And then inflammation is involved in many of the diseases that we see and a shortened lifespan. So grab those blueberries as a snack or put them in your daily smoothie that really can make a big difference in your overall health. And speaking of smoothies, one of the things that I make sure that I do every day is I replace one of my meals with a plant based shake. Now I actually have some videos in the archives that I've done on smoothies that I've made here on the channel, but with today's technology, it has become so much easier to make these plant healthy, plant based smoothies without having to go buy expensive devices or spend a lot of money on vegetables that you let just sit in your fridge and rot. Right now, one of the products that I've been using is Kachava Superfood. No, they didn't have anything to do with this video. This is something I picked out myself and started to use as a meal replacement because it's 100% plant-based protein, already includes 17 greens and veggies in the powder mix, eight antioxidant fruits, and 100 adaptogens. It comes in a handful of different flavors. I like vanilla because it pairs well with anything I want to put in it. 26 vitamins and minerals, 25 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, 26 vitamins and minerals, and 25 grams of protein for 250 calories. That's my meal, 250 calories. So not only does this superfood smoothie help me perform better on my workouts, it gives me energy and it helps me keep my weight at a healthy level. Beyond these healthy foods that I include in my diet daily, there are two other things I want to tell you about that I do. One, I avoid refined sugar, whenever I can. Now, I know it's difficult for all of us during the holidays, and I love chocolate, so I have to sort of work around it sometimes. But in general, many, many days, weeks, and even months can go by without any refined sugar going into my system. Sugar was one of the main culprits in my teens for my acne issues, and the few times I fell off the no sugar wagon in my 20s and 30s, I gained like 10 to 15 pounds. So keeping sugar out of my diet has been very important. And on the other side of that, making sure that I include healthy beverages like teas. It can be black tea, green tea. There's red and green rooibos tea from South Africa, which is very high in antioxidants, even more so than green tea. But drinking tea as a beverage on a daily basis is providing your body with hydration along with antioxidant benefits. There are numerous studies on the health benefits of including tea in your diet as a beverage. So it's certainly something inexpensive and easy to include in your diet if you're looking to improve your overall health. Now I will have a new video coming out on the negative impacts of refined sugar on your skin's health. So if you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to do that so you don't miss that video. Now, if you guys found this video informative and helpful, if you did, please like it, share it out. Let me know down in the comments. That really does help my channel. And before you make any dietary changes, you should always talk to your primary medical doctor to make sure it's not going to interfere with any of your medications. And of course, for even more ways to roll back the clock on body and skin aging, be sure to check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. It means the world to me. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you over on that next video.